Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hunter Hauk, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys something that is so, so exciting. You guys are going to get to meet my two new juvenile whites tree frogs and learn their names. So you guys have seen the whites tree frogs once in a video which was their unboxing video, but I have been posting them a lot on my Instagram, as you can see right here. I don't know how many times I've posted them, but like, a lot. I just haven't been able to share their names, because I was waiting to tell you guys their names first here on YouTube. So, I'm so, so excited to get to share those names with you. But anyways, my point in saying that was, be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of the frogs, and all of my reptiles, as well as Persephone, my toad. <laughs> Now, without further ado, let me go get one of the frogs. So, actually, I do want to just give a quick little disclaimer. I would normally be holding the frogs with gloves, but since I've, because of what's going on in the world right now, which I can't say or else YouTube will not like the video. Um, anyways, I can't find gloves, like, anywhere. They're just being used for PPE, which is obviously good. But yeah, that means that I have to just use wet hands. My hands are clean, but I'm going to wet them down, and I'm going to hold the frogs as little as possible. So this video, it's going to be really short, probably like, actually not really short, but I'll just have to put lots of pictures and b-roll of each of the frogs. But also, I'm going to dim the light, like, It's probably going to be like this, just because I don't want the frogs to be... Or they're super sensitive to the light, is what I'm trying to say. Like, their eyes don't love the light a lot, so I definitely don't want them to be scared or anything. Even though it is just going to be a short amount of time that they're out. Okay, guys, here they are. Um, I guess let me focus on them. Oh, there we go. Yay! Okay, um, so this first one that you can see on the end of my hand, he's just kind of chilling there, this is, I have the monitor up there so I don't know if you can really see them, so sorry if you can't, um, anyways, I'm trying to keep this really quick. This one here is Parker, and Parker is adorable. Now let me get number two. Come on. I hope you guys love their names just as much as I do. This other one here is Prada. So we have Parker who just jumped. Parker decided that they did not want to be on camera at all anymore. So love that for us. Um, this is Prada. Oh, oh, by the way, Parker is fine. They're just back in their enclosure. I have no idea if they're male or female yet, so I'm just referring to them as they, them pronouns because I, when I know their gender, <laughs> I don't want to have to like switch it in my brain, you know? Anyways, I don't want to get them too close, but as you can see, Parker is a lot greener than Prada. Prada is this one, by the way. Um, I'm not sure how I came up with their names, I just looked for P names and those were ones that came up. And I thought they were adorable, so that's what I named my frogs. <laughs> so anyways, um, this is Prada here, an absolutely adorable little frog. So they both came from Josh's frogs, and I don't even know how many grams they were. they are. They were like 2 grams when they came here. And now they're, I don't know, at least six probably, but yeah, they've like tripled in size. And I can't wait for them to get huge. For those of you who don't know much about white tree frogs, they will be like the size of my palm eventually. And by huge, I don't mean like obese, because there are so many obese white tree frogs that you'll see. It's actually kind of sad. I'm obviously going to make sure mine are a healthy weight, but by huge, I just mean like they grow really big. And supposedly they grow really fast. So, I'm going to just start talking, I'm going to put them up and just talk about them with b-roll of them over me talking. Okay, anyways, 
Sorry I couldn't like hold them up here too long. They don't like to be held that much. Obviously they're amphibians. And I especially don't want to stress them out since they're so young. So they're just back in there and as you can see B-roll of them is on the screen right now. So Parker is the one that's a lot greener and Prada is the one that's a lot bluer. Sometimes Prada is like completely brown though depending on her, their, sorry, mood. I don't know if I would even call it a mood, but just their lighting and stuff. Like in the day, Parker is usually pretty blue and Prada is always just green, but at night sometimes Prada is like completely brown and it's just crazy how they can change colors so much. There's a fluff. <laughs> so they did come from Josh's Frogs. Which, honestly, if you're going to get White's Tree Frogs and you want young ones, I would definitely recommend Josh's Frogs. They captive breed all of the reptiles and amphibians that they sell. And yeah, they're just really awesome. So yeah, I would definitely recommend them. Um, what else do I want to tell you about them? Oh, they're great eaters. They love dubia roaches. That's what I feed them. And sometimes black soldier fly larvae as a treat. Um, not big fans of mealworms. Obviously, you shouldn't give your White's Tree Frogs very many mealworm, mealworms, but I have given them each, like, two or three or something just to see if they like them, and they really don't love them, so I'm sticking with the Dubia Roaches and the Black Soldier Fly Larvae, which are even healthier, so I'm glad that they like both of those. Right now, they're in an upright 20-gallon long enclosure, um, with, like, a screen lid on the front. And I can't wait until I, like they are old enough to be in an adult sized enclosure because I have plans to build them a really big enclosure and I would like to get two or three more white tree frogs eventually because they do really well in larger groups. So that's what I would absolutely love to do and it'll be bioactive of course and it'll be awesome. I have it all planned out up here now I just need to actually do it. Okay guys, thank you so so much for watching today's video. I hope you love the frogs as much as I do. You can see in today's video I wore the merch. This is the design of Peyton my leopard gecko around a hibiscus flower. And if you guys want to purchase that, it's at shop.hunterhawk.com. We have it on hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, and stickers. And it is super high quality and I wear it several times a week. <laughs> I seriously love it so so much. And if you want to see more of the frogs and all of my animals, be sure to follow me on Instagram at HunterHawkOfficial. I would really appreciate that too. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Oh, and comment down below what your favorite m morph or color phase of white street frogs are or just what your favorite kind of frog or something is. I just want to know what kind of frogs you guys like because white tree frogs are certainly my favorite frogs. That's a lot of saying frogs. Okay, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>